everybody. How's everybody doing? Um, so, as you guys know, I, uh, I have a ridiculously small garden plot in my backyard. And uh, when I had the greenhouse in the basement, I grew trays of leeks with uh, two leeks per grow cell in a 72 cell. But I still have this. So these are leeks. And uh, they're growing okay. You guys can see inside. They're growing nice. So uh, if I don't get them out of here, they're just gonna die, right? They can't, they can't sustain themselves in that. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these leeks and we're gonna stick them all throughout my itty bitty tiny yard backyard garden, right? So hang on, this one's gonna be exciting. Well, we got them sorted. Uh, I had to dump that tow to water and refill it and uh, and use a lot of water to separate the roots but it wasn't too bad uh because like i said the roots the roots are really they're wiry right they're not like a standard sort of plant root they're you know they're pretty stiff and they're they're pretty hardy and durable so what we have now is we have larger ones and smaller ones and i'm going to plant the larger ones and i'm just going to give away the smaller ones so I've already offered those to someone. We'll see if he wants them. And if not, I'm gonna put them up on one of the Facebook groups I'm part of. So now that we have that done, now we're gonna start planting these. I don't even know how many's here. I don't know, 40, 50, maybe. I don't know. We're gonna plant them, we're gonna find out and um, see where we end up. So initially I had planned on using a dibbler and sticking them all in the ground, just using a dibbler and then pushing the roots in the ground. But some of these roots are, you know, five inches long and there's no way I think I can get those in the ground without the roots being smushed up into a ball. So we're gonna shift gears and what we're gonna do is, let's move this over here. I'm going to dig trenches in the ground and then I can just lay the roots right in those trenches and then we'll just cover them right over. And I'm not worried about burying them too deep because when commercial operations of leeks, when they grow leeks, what they do is they end up mounding soil on the bottom of the leeks. So that's why you end up with that gorgeous white bottom. So I'm not too worried about putting them too deep. So we'll just make a trench. Let's see if you guys can focus on that here and I can still plant. Hang on, readjust the camera. I don't know, can you guys see that trench right there? Let's see. All right, there. All right, and I'll just work around my tripod. You're lucky I love you guys. So we're gonna space these about two inches apart. Let's see how complicated this gets. That's really not working. Leaning over the fence is uh, not helping. But get the fence post in the chest, awesome. Okay. All right, well, that seemed to work okay. So uh, we're just gonna carry on then. So I'll uh, move over a couple inches, dig another trench, and we'll stick some more leaks in the ground. So we got them all in. I'm not sure how many we put in the ground. Um, I don't know, maybe 40-ish, give or take. So, and uh, they all just got a really good watering. So in the next couple of days, they'll perk up and uh, start growing and I'll just keep these watered 
and uh, I don't know how big they're going to get because obviously they're, you know, probably about a month behind where they should have been planted, but I'll just keep running them until the fall, until, uh, until I need to harvest them, and then we're going to make some more homemade potato leek soup out of them, or I'll dehydrate them, you know, one or the other, so... All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Super exciting. I know, but we're still moving forward. We're still planting food. We're still growing food and uh, we're still thinking about the days ahead. So keep doing your things. Grow good food. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You know what I'm talking about and have an awesome day. Green Thumb out. Peace.